Hello, good afternoon. Once again, uh, here with uh, with our lives uh, to uh, embrace uh, the digital uh, nomadism uh, on Madeira Island. And uh, today is the fifth uh, of uh, 13 lives that we are going to broadcast uh, up to January. And uh, we have, again, a special guest. This time I bring you a, a remote worker. So someone that uh, has um, has been in Madeira for several years already, um, used to work on a, on a, on a present uh, um, way. And this time she just decided to, uh, um, to change her way of working and to work remotely. She is from Sweden. She is called Lovisa Cleverheim and she's going to be with us today. So I hope you enjoy what we're going to talk about today. It will be a fantastic testimony uh, from um, a foreign um, person that has embraced the beauties of Madeira. So Lovisa is going to uh, tell us about uh, what made her stay here, what made her f fall in love with the island and why did she decide to uh, choose um, this method of this lifestyle of, uh, of of having a remote work and living in this uh, Madeira Island as as a paradise and as uh, for uh, some other um, guests that we had already on our lives um, a present someone that embraced Madeira as her first home and uh, and, and, and that is a pleasure for us. So thank you very much for all the ones that are, are viewing us. Let me know in the comments from where you are watching us. Um, if you are thrilled to, to get to know about this, uh, this testimony. And also if you know someone that would enjoy um, this content or the content of this live today, please share this live with, with some friends or with someone that would, you think that would be suitable, okay? So let me just, I think we're having here already some, 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 some comments. Okay, we have, oh, thank you so much. There we are. We have already some, some viewers with us, which is good. I'm going to uh, call uh, our, our guest, um, so let's see where she is. Do you an invite? So let's see if. Oh, there she Hello. is. Hi, Lovisa. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you for, for having me. me. <laughs> Thank you for having for 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 having accepted the invitation. And I'm I'm going to take my glasses, otherwise it makes such a reflex. Yeah. All the time. I will do that as well. <laughs> uh, so people won't see our, 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 yeah, our Portuguese exactly. eyes and you, your, your Swedish eyes. So I already yeah. introduced you a bit. I thank you once again for accepting my invitation to be present or be part of these, of these lives and um, yeah. show a bit about your love and passion for, for Madeira and also uh, what made you... Uh, choose Madeira for your for your first home so yeah. I would I would uh, uh, like you to introduce yourself to, te to, to tell us and, and tell our viewers not only the ones that are watching us now but the ones that will later on view this live when we post it on our on our social media so let us know how did you find Madeira how did you come and and how for how long you're living here already and what made you change your lifestyle so let us know okay well i i had never heard about madeira uh in my life and i signed up to work for a swedish tour operator this was back in the fall of 2008 i had gone to a um, sort of tour guide um, well, it's it's a big tour tour guide uh, educator in Denmark. Actually, they host in Barcelona. I had gone to their intensive course for a month, and there were several uh, tour operators there headhunting, and I got headhunted by Solracer, a Swedish tour operator. And then they called me about a month after after I had got home from from the course, and they said, "Oh, you're going to Madeira." And I said, "Oh, thank you. That that sounds lovely." And then I hung up. But then I had to go and Google. <laughs> Madeira. Where, what, what is Madeira? Where is Madeira? 
Um, I thought it was part of the Balearic Islands, like Menorca and Mallorca and Ibiza. Yeah. Uh, but, I found out, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I yeah. found out that, okay, no, oh, this is like, it's close to the Canaries. It's outside of Africa. I was, I was very thrilled. And then they, they sent me here. I came here for the first time on the 17th of February, 2009. And it was sort of love at first sight. I mean, I left Stockholm, it was minus 13 degrees, windy, gray, snowy, and I came here and I just remembered it was like blue and green and pink. I mean, the green of the mountains, the blue of the sea, it was a lovely, you know, like a winter day, like, like we're having today, like, you know, 22, 23 degrees. Yes. And all the bougainvillea, all the hibiscus, all the flowers, and I was just like, wow, this, this, uh, I've come to paradise. <laughs> oh, <laughs> True. That's so true. It, was, it was really lovely. Uh, yeah, that, that's how I came here uh, almost 14 years ago. And you, and, you, and you fell in love with the island, right? Yeah, I did. And I mean, then I, I worked for the, for the Swedish tour operator for, as a tour guide for two years. And then, because uh, they sent me around to Spain and Italy. And then my, my demand was actually, I told them, if, if you want me to continue working, I want to be based in Madeira. Um, and then I started working as a restoration and account manager in the office here. Uh, and I did that for four years. And then I started studying in Uppsala University. And that's when I also started working for Pstana. That's where we met yeah. in 2015. Met. Yeah. Uh, before that, I studied some Portuguese because, of course, I felt like, I believe it was sort of 2012, 2013, where I sort of decided that this is a place where I really want to sort of establish myself and, 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 and in the future buy a house, which I now have done, uh, open a business eventually. And then I decided I need to learn the language properly. So, so I, did, I did study because it is, it is a difficult language. Yes, <laughs> it and is, you can it's, speak it's a beautiful it language. Properly, with a Madeiran accent. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's really, uh, really, uh, really special. Uh, 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 yeah. So when you, I think uh, then, you will you will let you will let our viewers know so when mm. you start when you decided to study you studied in uh, you studied already on a remote way right yes so you i did on, in yeah. a Swedish university yeah. but remotely on an e-learning yes. basis yes. So that, probably that um that interest of of doing things online uh, yes. uh, on a remote basis um started already when you decide when you when yeah. you decided to study right yeah. so along along those studies uh, um yeah. you 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 formed a, probably a, already a lifestyle because you were you were half half you were working presently yes. but yes. already doing yeah. this 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 online uh, occupancy yes that, i think that, that, yeah. yeah yeah i think so that's that, when i learned that because i mean of course to work to work online, to work remotely, you need to be very disciplined and you need to be organized and you need to, uh, yeah, you need to, you need to be able to make your own schedule and keep your own schedule. And yeah, and that, that I learned already when I was studying because it was, I mean, of course we had lectures and we had, we had assignments and everything, but it was, it was very much up to me if they were going to be done or not, <laughs> of course. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. And then the grades would come, would yes. come positive exactly. or not. Exactly. And to your discipline and to your and and to your commitment so yes. it so that you know the 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 adapting of the remote uh, uh, modus uh, already yes. started when you were yes. then you 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 found a way of working remotely on a definite way and yes. uh, tell us about that how did you get those jobs what are you doing mm -hmm. at the moment uh, do you like it like that you mm -hmm. also bought a house you ended up uh, mm -hmm. really uh, basing yourself uh, in Madeira like let's say permanently because yeah. you yeah. Also bought a house yeah. and you have your dogs and yeah. you, you, guys, you should you should see you should follow uh, Lovisa she runs like hell yeah. <laughs> does this trail yes. goes I'm running I'm running tonight actually I'm running tonight there is a local road race tonight I'm participating at nine o'clock really? uh, so after this I'm going to put my you know ponytail on and yes and, and you running go. running clothes on uh, I love I love the the local running races and uh, fantastic yes yeah, yeah. I start I started working remotely already in July 2019 mm -hmm. and that was 
because I was I was working and then I was finished with my with my studies in June 2019 and I was working with you for Pristana yes. but as, yeah. as, as you know um, the they don't have so much for Scandinavians and I really like to work with Scandinavians that's the market I know yes. um, even though I worked some with English as well uh, which I really appreciated uh, but then I was, I needed new challenges. That's, that's this. I, I, I like to have 180 things to do at, at once. And that's what I have now as well <laughs> with <laughs> a lot of different cool. projects. But at that time I, I was, I was contacted actually by, um, it was, uh, I was looking for things online and I was searching and then all of a sudden this popped up. It was a Swedish company that, that is based in Malta and they have remote workers all over the place, uh, all over the world. And they started with this. I believe already in sort of 2013, 14, something like that. Yes. So they've been doing this for almost 10 years. They're remote working. Uh, they have they have people all over the world, and and I and I joined them in 2019. Um, I had worked a little bit for them in the summer of 2018, because because where I worked it was it was quiet in the summer compared to the winter months. Yes. Um, and then I decided to do that full time. Uh, yeah. It, it opened it open your appetite. Yes, it, it, it did. It, it gives did. you a bit of freedom, isn't it? It gives you a bit of freedom. Yes, it does, and it and it's and I'm, uh, I think it's maybe my my upbringing and sort of my also the the education that I have now. What I studied, I, I mean, I studied organizational management and project management and quality management, and and I I like when I can be part of the development, um, yes. and 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 that's why I like I like working for for smaller organizations or. Like I do now, I work mainly for myself because uh, yeah. then I can, then I can, um, then I, then I feel like I can really provide and, and really improve things. That's good. Uh, so this, yeah, this was a smaller organization that I joined. And then when the pandemic broke out, I sort of panicked because I thought I was going to lose my job. I was really panicked. And at the same time, I was stuck like here. I couldn't leave. I couldn't leave the island because uh, the, I mean, the airport shut down and everything. And, and then I was again online searching because... I don't know. Many, many people, I think, thought that this was going to be over in a few weeks or in a few months. I, I had a feeling, I had a gut feeling already from the beginning of the pandemic that this is not going to be over in a short term. Yes. This is something that is we're, we're in for a long, for something. Yeah. Yes. Forever. That, that's, forever. Yes. I, I, even, I even searched to apply for, you know, global or whatever, because I, I was really afraid that I was going to lose my job and yeah. I have my house, I have my dogs, so I, you know, I... I take care of myself, <laughs> yes. and I've, I've done that for many years. So I was really, really, really worried. Uh, but then I, I, I got another job online, which is, which is, I was well, an assistant teacher for for the university where I studied, because they did a big thing when the pandemic broke out. Of course, many people were put to work remotely, many yes. people were laid off, and and many people wanted to to start studying more instead. And and so they decided to to launch a project for the summer of 2020 to expand their, their courses, uh, their distance courses, to be able to take in more people. So I was part of this project. I, I just worked part-time for them then. Uh, and, and, and we expanded. We had about 1,000 students the summer of 2010-20. So, so the year 2020, I just worked. <laughs> Basically, I worked That's about 14, 14 hours per day. And then I ran around with my dogs. Uh, but it was yeah, it was good, and I, I had I had two jobs then for a long, long time, until about February 2021. That's when I decided that no, now I need to scale down a little bit, and also because I wanted to start focusing on opening my business, which is a tourism company in the island, and also now um, a startup that I'm part of, which which I mentioned to you, which you also posted in in the publication, yeah. which is Sustava, which is Sustainable Development Association. Um, and that is uh, that is a startup. Uh, if you want to check out more, we we've now finally got the website out. Up, it's it's simple so far, uh, but but we're we're just getting started. Yeah. Um, so it's susteva.com, and um, it is um, sort of a community for sustainable business development. Okay. Um, it's a sort of global, but at the same time, local partner uh, for people who want to really see how they can bring out the best in themselves and especially mm -hmm. in their organization uh, while ensuring sustainable development. 
because um, quality management and sustainable development, they go really hand in hand. Without quality okay. management, you can't have sustainable development because you need to define your value chain and you need to measure what you're actually doing and, and then, um, and then improve, improve from that. Okay, fantastic. So all yeah. of that you are, that you are uh, doing uh, uh, job-wise is, uh, well, we, we see that there are activities that you are doing on a remote basis. So yes. as you can see, as you can all, the ones that are watching us now and the ones that will watch it later on, there is really a, a different range of activities and jobs that you can, uh, that you can apply or mm -hmm. even work uh, uh, on a remotely basis. And Madeira is, with no doubt, the best, the best place uh, and to 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 be and 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 to feel to feel comfortable. I remember in one of our talks a while ago, um, when I decided to invite you uh, to come mm. to uh, and to and and be here today as a guest on our lives. I remember that when that you mentioned that, that when the pandemic occurred, you even tried to to to, to go to another place. To you even tried Lisbon, right? So you gave yes, Lisbon yes, a chance, yes, right? Yes, did, but then after a few weeks, you decided, no, no, this is not my no. place. I need to go mm. back to Madeira. Mm. So this is really um, one, a, a big example, uh, yeah. one of the biggest testimonies that we could have on these lives uh, from uh, someone that came to Madeira 14 years ago mm. and fell in love with the island and uh, didn't know where the island was. Like some viewers uh, at the moment, or even uh, when the, when you watch uh, the slide later on. But then when you just when you come here, you just you just fall in love with it, and it's it's very hard. Uh, it's very hard to leave. So this is really the most uh, uh, impressive feeling that one can have when uh, when one meets uh, Madeira Island like Lovisa uh, uh, met and, and 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 we're not only talking about uh, elderly people young people Lovisa is very young and look at her yes, she, um, she fell in love with the island yeah. I think I think I mean I was shocked when I when I worked here the first years because the first years we only had really really old people like 80 90 year olds and i was yeah. i was sort of confused because i one of the first things i did here was hiking i remember i had been here for three weeks i walked the beautiful Queimadas walk yeah which is it's it's quite a tough walk it's 13 kilometers you go through several tunnels but then you come to this lovely cascade waterfall and like a lagoon where you can swim in the summer and i thought this is this is paradise for active hyperactive people like yes. me that love nature but I mean I, I couldn't that walk I couldn't recommend it to my clients because they you know they could walk from the Rio to Balcons and, and nothing else like two, two three kilometers yeah, 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 yeah. And, and I'm really happy to see now that we are getting younger people here and people that can also do all the the fantastic activities that we that we have like hiking and trail running and canyoning and and surfing and yeah it's it's really 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 fantastic and fantastic what uh what uh, what is what you feel now that you have the chance to work remotely and still do what you m mostly love which mm. is uh you know be in the nature like you mm. like you are almost every day lovisa goes uh, she does her lavadas with her with her dogs and and and, and the friends and yeah. she, she she she's always outside she's always outdoors so mm. uh, what uh, what is the feeling um of working remotely uh, rem uh, against what you did before against in an office or being in the hotel what yes. what what yeah. what makes you want to keep on working on a remote basis i i think for me for me it it suits me it's it suits me because i like to be sort of in in control over my own life Mm -hmm. and and i am disciplined uh, i like getting up early in the morning i like having my routine and, and like you say i love my levadas and, and i'm fortunate i that's i mean i bought my house where i bought my house because i 10 minutes walk i am on a levada so i can go there in the morning before i i start work this morning i was there at six something in the morning watching the moon it was beautiful <laughs> and then i can also go after work and and watch the sun sunset and and i think uh, for me it's yeah it's really the the flexibility and um 
and sort of being able to manage your own life, uh, which of course also, I mean, it requires discipline and it requires for, for companies that, especially now it's becoming more, especially in, in Northern Europe, that they, that they offer this to the employees to be able to keep good employees working for them. But of course it, it requires as well a, a proper leadership that can handle people yeah, being so cool. remote from the, from the office. But, but I think more and more companies are adapting to that. And I think we're all, we have adapted to that during the pandemic with, with these kind of meetings, Zoom meetings. I mean, you and I, we are in the same island now. Yes. But, but I, could be, I could be in Brazil and it would be the same thing. <laughs> that's it, that's uh, with, it. With, yeah, with, with technology, it's, the possibilities are, are, are endless. And, and I see that in this island as well, uh, how the pandemic has actually... I mean, of course, it's been it's been very bad, but that's that's a positive thing in this island that that techno technology here has actually gone become much much better, yes. uh, much much better. And and now you can work remotely here, and there are coming more things. And I can see also the younger population are getting very invo involved with with the digital nomads that come here. I I'm a little bit so much. I, I don't like the the digital nomad word it's yeah. too hip for me it's too hip for me but, yeah. but i believe even though i was a bit skeptic also to this sort of trend in the beginning uh but that's when you see it as a trend i i now see it and and and, and i look it's 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 a, it's a newer way of traveling i would say and i think it's a way of travel that 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 is gonna it's 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 gonna become more and more common um because it's also instead of going maybe one week for a shorter trip, you will maybe go and live in a place for some months and actually get to know the local people, maybe learn the language a little bit and learn the culture. And and I think I think it's um, I think it's a great way for people to network in in a world where globalization. I mean, it's it's become a driving force for growth and and wealth, uh, and and this enables countries to diversify their economies and, and uh, I mean, in the end, to fight poverty, I would say. We can yeah, take that far. That's yeah. it. You said it all. You said it all mm -hmm. in, very, in very wisely. Um, would you uh, tell our viewers how do you find the, the quality of life in Madeira if you would, if you would uh, advise um, mm -hmm. our viewers that would be interested in uh, uh, um, working remotely mm -hmm. people from other countries that are you know wanting to know yeah. What, yeah. what is that small dot uh, in yeah. the globe what yeah. would you tell to these people to our viewers what would you yeah. say about the island well for me this is i chose this place because for me it has the sort of highest life quality rate that I know of. Uh, I traveled a lot growing up, once or twice a year since I was one year old uh, and and uh, had been many places before I came here. I've also tried to sort of establish myself in several places. I was in Spain for some months working. I was in Italy for some months working. I tried Lisbon uh, and uh, for me uh, this is the place. Okay, Economically wise, money wise, maybe I would make more money if I would live in a in a, in a city center somewhere. Uh, but life quality wise, uh, for me, this this island is is really top top. Uh, we have the climate all year round that is amazing. Uh, I mean, for me, it's summer all year round. Yes. Um, I go to the beach all year round. I go swimming in the ocean in January. Um, and and because it's an island, in the beginning. I must say the f first few years I was a bit, because it is a small island, and, 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 but it, it's also nice because you have a sense of community in the whole island and everything is close by. Um, and these days, I mean, it's easy to you go, you can, if you want to go for, you know, a big city weekend, you go to London, it's what, three hours away. You go to Lisbon, it's one hour away. You go to Porto, it's, it's now we have to New York even. It's, it's, everything is very, very close. So. So for yeah, me, I think it's, it's perfect here. <laughs> perfect, that's good. Well, the climate yeah. is fantastic. Uh, everybody is uh, that comes on our, on our lives mentions the, the, the climate. Yeah. Today and the people are very calm, people. which is nice. Yeah. There's a calm sense of the island. It's sort of, because uh, that's what I felt when I tried to live in, in Lisbon for a while. Uh, I mean, I am from Stockholm originally, and, and, and Stockholm is a very busy city, and I feel that every time I go there. 
that. It is a big, busy city, yeah. and that's something I like here. It's it's sometimes it drives me crazy, <laughs> <laughs> but when I go to the supermarket, but yeah. but I, I in the end I really like it because it's it's yeah it's it's calm and 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 people take time to to say hello and to say good morning and to talk a little bit. Uh, uh, when you go to the supermarket, then you see a neighbor and you you have a little chat, and it's it's nice actually. I, nice. I, I, I really like that. That's what what Madeira has. Yeah. In, in each corner, you you will find some some nice and friendly people uh, to yeah. talk. Uh, you learn also with the locals, right? Sometimes yeah. you 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 listen to stories and to legends, mm -hmm. and they are very knowledgeable. Uh, yes. About about uh, about so many so many things uh, on the island, um, fantastic. So another testimony. Here's yes. uh, to the ones that are doubting uh, in uh, coming to Madeira or visit Madeira, thinking about uh, working from here. Well, you have a testimony here from Lovisa. She just yes. uh, mentioned. <laughs> Be good. So many good things about the island. Uh, what made her stay here, which is very important. What uh, what uh, made her also the food as well. Yes, the food. The Sorry. food. I had yeah. to interrupt uh, about that. <laughs> we cannot forget the food. No, we can't. Yeah. All the fresh <laughs> fruit, all the fresh vegetables, all the good fish. Yes, fantastic. Fantastic. That's it. So Madeira has all the uh, all the ingredients. Uh, to for a very healthy cake, <laughs> we yes. even grow strawberries. So please come yes. along and um, well follow the steps from Lovisa and um, follow what she just said and 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 try to 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 search a bit more and 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 pay attention to our lives. Next week we're having another one. I will not be broadcasting from here. I will be in travel, but I will wherever I am. I'll I'll switch on my 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 mobile. I just need some internet and everything works. This is the this is the fantastic <laughs> world of uh, working remotely. It doesn't matter where you are, as long as you have your computer or your phone and internet access, you can do your job. So next week we will be um, also having um, another lady. Uh, mm -hmm. It's going to be uh, via via the years. Uh, she is the founder of the uh, Nomad Village in Port Santo. We also have one there. So she's going mm -hmm. show us a bit more what is happening in, in Port Santo and it's going to be at the same time 1717 London time we uh, are going to uh, have a fantastic time with uh, with Biedir so pay attention stay tuned I hope you have enjoyed um, our guest today Lovisa thank you once again for for being with us and for sharing your testimony and for sharing your passion and love for uh, for Madeira entirely. And as a Madeiran, to a second Madeiran, <laughs> a borrowed Madeiran. Yes. I thank you so much once again for um, being passionate about about our island and for having decide, uh, decided to stay here and live here permanently and then go to Stockholm only once in a while when yes. when it's not so cold exactly. <laughs> thank it? you very much for having me it was lovely Sophia thank you thank you very much <laughs> we'll go around for sure we will hear about more um, more about Lovisa we will stay in touch we are uh, organizing a very big event that will happen in the end of January 2023 so it's just around the corner it's only a few months Lovisa is also going to be involved in it so stay mm -hmm. tuned we'll see you next week once again thank you so much for being here thank you so much <laughs> and, um, we'll see you around thank yeah. you everybody see you next week you, everybody. bye bye, bye, -bye. bye, -bye.